Hi, I'm Jack Tadish for American Building Restoration Christian Products. We're in Franklin, Wisconsin at one of the oldest landmark churches we have here. This is a historical landmark. And today we're going to show you how to use our grip and strip paint removers. Now these paint removers are designed to strip latex and oil-based finishes. And they're very thick and very viscous. We have a five-gallon pail here. Let me show you. You can hardly pour them out of a bucket. That's how thick they are. And they're designed to stay and put when you put them. When you put them on paint, they're designed to stay where you put them. Well, we've picked a real interesting project to do here. This old church here was built in 1852, and the uh, members of the Historical Society um, have commissioned us to strip all this old paint off of here and restore this clapboard siding back to its original condition. Now, we decided to go with the product because of the hazardous lead content of this paint. We've had it analyzed, and we found out it's over five parts per million. Uh, we're going to have to remove this here finish without creating a lot of water mess because that'll accelerate our, our end cost of disposal. So we decided to go with a product that we call Grip and Strip. Now what, that, what this paint stripper is going to do is going to have a layer like a membrane on here so that when the, when the paint dissolves, we're not going to have a lot of waste. Now when we analyze this here finish, we have found out that you can just take some of this off by hand and we have about 20 mils of thickness here. Now we have some latex and some oil-based paint. Uh, so we decided to go with a, a Grip and Strip formula that can dissolve both latex and oil paint. Klein grip and strip is with a wood type float or trowel. Using this method of application allows for greater control of grip and strip to the surface. It is an economical method of application requiring less skilled personnel in doing this type of work. It also allows for greater flexibility of more workers applying the stripper. This method of application allows the worker to spread the stripper to a uniform recommended one-eighth to one-quarter inch thick coat. The brush is a quicker method of application and is used whenever possible, especially on ornate trim and difficult areas of accessibility. The brush method of application also works well for interiors, where spray methods may be hard to direct without excessive overspray. All methods of application should be tried in your testing prior to starting the project to determine which method of application will give you the best results. After 24 hours, we will return to this project to begin the paint removal process. Here's a section that we've had the stripper on for a good 24 hours, and Ron's scraping it already. Even though we call this grip and strip, you still need to give it a little bit of a push to get it started but it comes off in big sheets like you can see here. Now this is really amazing. We're going through about 20 layers of paint here in one heavy application. Now this is a clap, clap boarded sided uh, church here, otherwise the uh, siding, the uh, material would come off in a bigger sheet, but these clap boards are keeping it from breaking. Now the important thing here is that uh, we don't have a lot of disposal. Uh, if we were rinsing this just with a power washer, we'd have a lot of mess here. So here all we got is uh, the paint and the residue. Everything's going right down to the ground for easy disposal. In a minute, I'm going to get down there and show you just what this looks like as far as uh, disposal and how to get rid of it. Now here's one of the real important things about this grip and strip formula. You don't have a lot of mess residue left behind. Here's the paint film and the stripper all in one. You didn't have to put a paper covering on here either. This is a chemically reactive kind of product. It forms its own skin just like a, like a banana skin. So you've got easy, uh, easy cleanup. You don't have any you know, serious pollution problems. You're not polluting the soil. All you got to do is come along and uh, pick it up. Throw it in a pail. You're going to have a little rinsing to do later on, but it's not going to be nowhere near as much rinsing as you had when you were uh, just straight washing it, because we're removing the stripper and the paint all in one, one sheet. You know, whenever you're stripping a project like this, you want to make sure that you always uh, take all that paint and dissolve stripper from the job site or check with your local authorities on how they'd have it removed. Now, the next time you see us on this here project, we'll probably have it painted and show you what it looks like. The historic Painesville Chapel has now been preserved with the grip and strip formulas of paint removal. 
no detail was overlooked in this restoration even the bronze cast historical plaque was restored with american building restoration chemicals and coated with a clear metal plate finish to retard oxidation well we're certainly pleased the way this here project turned out you know we could have done this to take this paint off a number of ways you could use torches and that would have burnt the wood and you could have started a fire we could have used a uh, sandblasting method, that would have ruined the grain of the wood. It would have pithed the wood. You'd have lost a lot of the, the detail of the, the original structure. You could use sanding disc, but that also leave a lot of swirling marks, and you're, you really destroy the face of the wood, especially in the corners. Now, this grip and strip turned out real excellent. We're real pleased the way it turned out. Now, we want to thank the members of the Painesville Historical Society for giving this opportunity to uh, strip this here building.